This is the Catalan team and welcome back to our tutorial. Today, we're going to show you all about Test Suite along with all the features that comes with testing Test Suite. More specifically, I'll show you how to create and run three types of Test Suite. Basic Test Suite, Test Suite Collection, and Dynamic Test Suite. Let's get started. To create Test Suite, first you need to have your test cases ready. If you want to learn how to create test cases, you can watch our other tutorial on how to create test cases using manual mode and script mode. We'll leave you the link down below. Since I already have my test cases, now I'm going to create a basic test suite. Right click on the test suite and you see this banner appears. Give your test suite a name and there you go, you have your first basic test suite. Now let's add the test case into our new test suite. There are two ways to add the test cases. First way is to drag and drop the test cases into the test suite. Second way is using the test suite editor to manually select and add the test case. Now that you add all of your test cases, you also have the option to select which test cases to run here. The box are checked by default, so when running, remember to check or uncheck the box when needed. Above, we have an execution information bar where you can adjust some setting for your test suites. Here you can set implicit timeout, which is a timeout period that Catalan waits for a page to be loaded. This default can be set by going to the top bar, select project, setting. In this pop-up board, select execution, and you can either set default browser for execution, default timeout, and post execution action. You also have the option to choose user defined to personalize your own timeout for one specific project and the time is going to be in second. For this project, I'll use default. Next, you can configure when and how many times Catalan retries an execution of a test suite until the test suite passes successfully. Finally, you can add a list of recipients who will receive the execution report via email once the test suite finishes its execution. Now that you set up everything, let's run this test suite. Hit the play button, select a browser to run your test on, and Catalan will do the rest. After running, notice this bottom bar, a green button means that the test case is passed, while the red buttons indicate a failed test case. You can also look at this bar here to see the status of your whole test suite. In this demo, there's one failed test case. Here, you can see the fault common, which should give you the direction to fix your test case. Now that you know how to run one test suite, what do you do when you want to run multiple test suites at the same time? That's when you would want to create a test suite collection. The way to add test suite into the test suite collection is the same as adding the test case into the test suite, drag and drop, or manual add. In the test suite collection, you can add a test suite into the test suite collection multiple times. For the execution, you can choose to run the test suite either sequentially, meaning the test suites will be executed one after another, or you can run it parallel, meaning the test suite in the collection will be executed all at the same time. Here, Catalan also let users have a lot of flexibility in executing the test suites. First, you can run the test suite in the same collection, but in a different browser. In this demo, I will choose to run one of my test suite on Firefox and the other ones on Chrome. Second, you can run the test suite in the same collection, but using the different profile or different testing environment. To create a profile, go to the box on your left, select profile, name it, and then you got a profile. I'll replace my profile here, and we have a test suite collection. Navigate to the execute button, hit it, and we're testing. And there you go, another test project complete. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic test suite. Dynamic Test Suite is a test suite where the test cases are added via a search query through a special plugin. In case there are no installed plugin, the query provider is set to no query provider available by default, 
and Catalan Studio will instruct you to install the right plugin. Now I'll show you how to create a dynamic test suite with the plugin. In this tutorial, let's say I have two types of test cases, one with a tag of regression and one without that tag of regression. If I want to create a test suite contains all the test cases that have the regression tag, I'll go to Query Builder, type regression into the tag suite, click OK, and Catalan will create a test suite matches my requirement. Now all you need to do is run your test suite just like how you run your basic test suite. Before we end this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate script mode to personalize your test suite. Switch to script mode and you can see that you can personalize what happens before, which is the setup keyword here, and after, which is the teardown keyword here. The same nest also applied for each test case in the test suite. Using the web UI keyword that I mentioned in the script mode tutorial, you can insert some personalized step into your execution. After inserting the keyword, remember to change the skip comment here from true to false. Because by default, Catalan Studio is skipping the step as there are no codes. Now let's run the test suite again to see the command in action. And that successful test suite concludes our tutorial. If you want more tutorials, give us a subscribe and thumbs up or comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for using Catalan and we'll see you in our next tutorial.